Hello. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Knit, Knit Girls. Girls. This is episode 212. It is Monday, July 7th, 2014. And I am Laura, also known as Lala. I'm Leslie, also known as You Don't Call Me Less. And I almost corrected you and said 2013 just a second ago. Ha ha ha. Um, I don't know. Not here, apparently. So, um, <laughs> yes. So, this is a knitting show. That's what I hear. It's the word on the screen. Yes. And I'm at the end of a row, so I'll go first because I only have one thing. Wonderful. So, I placed an order like a month ago because Laura sent me this link and she said, we need to buy this yarn right now. So... Oh, that's right! I totally forgot about that. Which is good, because Susan B. Anderson showed it last week, so now you'll never be able to get it. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So, Caterpillar Yeah, green. I totally forgot about that. And this is an MCN fingering. It's a 70% superwash, 20% cashmere, and 10% nylon. And it's in the concrete and tulips colorway. So pretty. And it's caterpillargreenyarns.com. I think she's still doing orders for this color. It's just... She does it, pre-orders, so you have like to wait a, around a month and a half. Yeah. We, we waited, I want to say, four weeks okay. for this. So this is what it looks like in the skein. And it's super shiny and really nice. It's got a very nice hand. Um, it's sort of the asphalt gray with the muted jewel tones in there. And I started a sock, and this is going to be for Mama Linneman. Aww, and you're so sweet. This is a simple skip sock, or Skype, S-K-Y-P, whatever. I don't know how you say that. It looks great in the self-striping. And, um, yeah, I didn't want to do plain. I wanted to do something with a pattern, so I picked that. Uh, they are, it's on 2.25 millimeter, one large circular needle. I magic lube everything that I can. And You're such about... a good daughter. <laughs> when was the last time I gave her socks? Like, I don't know. I think you give her more hand knit stuff than I do, though. A while back. So um, I'm hoping to have them done at SSK, so I can just give them to her. But we'll see. Uh -huh. um, the yarn is fantastic to work with. It's really nice to have that 20% cashmere. And it just It's a pleasure to knit with it, and that makes me happy. Cool. So, she has a lot six... of pretty colorways. She really does. It was hard for me to decide. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all that I'm working on right now is this one sock. I've got one more color stripe before I start, and I'll do a heel flap um, for Mama Linneman just because I don't know the exact length of her foot for mm -hmm. Fish Lips Kiss, and I know the um, heel flap has a little more give. So cool. That's it. That's all I'm working on. You're amazing. I'm oh. working on all the things. Are you ready to be blasted out by crazy neon? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so excited. I love it. The blue is almost too... It's a dark uh, purple. Oh, is it? Okay, uh -huh. it's, it's showing up blue on my So screen. it goes from, um, because I'm lazy and I didn't cut my yarn, it's got, this one has a pink toe. <laughs> Look, there's two, almost two of them. Oh, wow. You've really been working through those. Um, so they don't line up exactly, but they go from a light, like lime green, to a little bit more of a vibrant darker green back to a lime green to a very hot pink like retina searing hot pink to a lighter purple to a dark purple back to a light purple pink that lime dark green again. and it starts over um it's interesting because there are blips so um, as you knit, you can see that they're not pure stripes. There's blips of colors that occur, mm -hmm. which is fine. Like, I don't mind the green on the pink. I actually, so I knit these from the toe up, and that way I could change my orientation. Like, I don't like this side as much as this side. So this oh, is so my top side. Foot. Yeah. Okay. And I put this one on the foot. Um, the only thing that I don't like is where the pink goes into the green it causes like an orangey brown to occur but when they're on my yeah. feet you won't be able to see and i haven't tried them I, on at all so that'll be fun i think um, you're being super picky like i would not even that wouldn't bother me at all it would if it was in real life i bet you we'll see you'll get to see them in real life so um this is regia flora mania i'm knitting it on size oh i'm almost to ribbing 
Oh. Would you stop? I have a cat climbing up the back of my chair. Humberto does that all the time. That's why Leslie was like, he was whining by the door earlier, and Leslie was like, you should let him in. And I was like, no, because he's irritating me today. <laughs> um, true story. So I have like another inch, and then I can start the ribbing, and then this will be done. So, and I will have a new pair of socks. And I will soak them and wear them and be happy for forever. So that's how they look on the side. <laughs> One um, pair of fluorescent socks, happiness forever. Yep. I uh, actually have three other skeins of this yarn. I blame Gigi of the Knitmore Girls. I'm telling you. So it's... actually I only have two. I bought three total. So It's nice to actually be able to see it. I've heard Gigi talk about it for, yeah. I don't know, a month and a half. Well, you can half. see it if you went to their show notes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so bossy. Anyway, so that's being knit on my carbon size one, 2.25 needles, and I'm magic looping. Cause that's what I had. Um, I also have some other things on the needles. I have my Jackaroo sweater, which has a little bit of progress. It's almost to the point where, um, like two more rows, and I, it went in for waist shaping. I go back out. Mm -hmm. So. It's almost to that point. Am I showing you the right time? I am. It's got a ribbing detail in the middle. And this is being knit. And I'm almost done with the second ball. Well, kind of, sort of. It's getting there. Um, by the time I'm done with the waist increases, it will be gone. That is out of... I have, like, a pile of stuff over here. Naturally Merino, which is a 10-ply. It's a machine washable New Zealand Merino silk blend. And I have 13 skeins should be enough. Each skein is 109 yards. So hopefully that'll be enough. I'm only planning on doing three quarter sleeves like to here. Because mm -hmm. um, when I'm at work I shove up my sleeves anyways. And it's a cute little sweater. It was a free pattern on Knitty.com. I'm knitting that on size 6 needles. What is that? 4 millimeter? 4.0 millimeter. Yep. yep. And that's hanging out in my cool Harry Potter bag. Um, my uh, socks are in my Lorax bag. He speaks for the trees. And my socks are in this fancy bag. Aww. <laughs> that is, you know, it's, I, you have so many projects. I know. Bags. It was just that, it's like, I try to keep all my knitting stuff except for what I'm using at the time downstairs. And so I just didn't have any bags upstairs. And I was like, eh, I'll just use this Ziploc bag. I made a little bit on pro of progress before I started getting car sick on um, my Kirsten Kapoor through the loop shawl. So on my 13 hour drive up to Michigan, I knit like, I finished chart two. And then on the way back down, I got 10 rows into chart three. So I'm gonna try to knit on this tonight, get 10 more rows. We'll I'll be like a third of the way through chart three. Chart five, so it's, um, it's a clue shawl. And all mm -hmm. the clues are out. Clue 5 came out at the end of June. And um, Clue 5 is just really, there's a fancy smancy crochet bind off. So it's good to learn new things. It um, is. So I'm just doing, that's basically like two rows in the bind off. So there's like another 20 rows in this chart and then 32 rows in another chart and then the bind off. I'd like to get this done and blocked for the SSK Try It On Room. We'll see if that happens. Tour de Fleece has started, and I was gonna say you said I'm gonna I'm gonna do ten rows tonight, and I'm like you're a liar because as soon as you send this file, you're going right back to the wheels. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Um, I do have some stuff that I'm working on on the wheels, so that's in my fat squirrel bag, um, and that is Volmaza Elf is the colorway. It's pure, so it's the 574 yard skein. And it's being knit on size six needles. Um, I did not gauge swatch for that, but I like to live dangerously. I yeah, also it's knit a, a little bit on. Um, kept falling asleep, and now I'm some. Oh goodness! All right. That whatever. designer, she just can't design anything to keep you awake. Is that the problem? No, the problem <laughs> is my uncle likes to drive really, really fast. <laughs> And, like, Lace and I were not getting along. Because uh, there are lots of bumps on 55 North. Anyway, this is Curiouser and Curiouser. It's a little bit bigger. Like, eight rows bigger. Still, that counts. And, um, apparently I left off in the middle of a Lace 
repeat, so that'll be fun to figure out what the heck I was doing. But I'm sure I marked it on my iPad as I went along. Um, it's got two stockinette sides and then two lace sides, and it'll get moved to a larger needle. This is a 20 inch signature. I'm going to move it up to um, 32 when I get like four more rows done. This is a little squishy, um, which is good because it makes moving stitches much easier. Yeah. And that is Volmiza Lace in the Ver Hex and Verzatz colorway, and it is the Curiouser and Curiouser pattern. Totally not getting done for SSK, but I'll have it on the needles. Um, I pro I'll bring it. Um, I'm not certain that it'll get worked on. It'll be fine. Yeah. I'm making sure. I thought I made a mistake, but I didn't. Yay! And that's in another fat squirrel bag. So. And that's being it on size threes. It's like my cool steampunk that squirrel bag <laughs> with my janitor key <laughs> ring of awesomeness on it. Um, which is from Wine and Maker Sister. It keeps track of all the things. And that is about it for me for knitting. I have no finished objects, so why don't you go ahead and talk about all the okay. millions of things that you have finished this week? I've only finished one thing because I only had one thing on the needles. So, I finished an item that will go in the um, fundraiser raffle for SSK. Cool. Which, that we do every year. And this is the lichen. And it is... Ooh, I have not trimmed the ends yet. It's been blocked. I just haven't cut the ends yeah. after... They've been woven in. So, we weave in our ends, both of us, before blocking. Mm -hmm. And then we trim them after blocking. Because that way, when they get stretched out, when you block, they're not going to be popped out. And yeah because they'll already have been stretched as much as they need to be so yeah so like this is it's been woven in but I just haven't trimmed what's left so this is lichen that's an interesting shape yeah uh, I actually modified it a little bit so that the center would have slightly deeper ruffles not much but a little bit okay and it's in hand spun and this is into the world and it was a mixture of a couple of different colors how much yardage did you end up using I want to say, I didn't do an exact measurement, but I want to say it was around 350. Okay. So it's intended to be, and it's got um, directions for either like a fingering or an errand. Uh-huh. And ugh, I can smell Michael's cooking dinner and it smells so good. Um, so it's intended to be worn as like this roughly yeah. thing. I'm not making it look very good, but I promise you it looks super cute. Um, you're, anyway. You have headphones that it's getting caught on to. Yeah. But it's really roughly and cute, and it's. Can probably hand go spun. around several times. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hand spun and hand knit by me. So hopefully that, you know, will encourage people to give a dollar <laughs> for the, the raffle. Um, and it was really super easy. It's There's some setup rows, which were a little bit confusing for me, but then after that, it's the same 10 rows. Over and over and over and okay. over and over. And it was on a size 11, so it went super duper fast. Oh, yeah. Your needles so, that you hated. Did you ever switch out those needles for other needles? No, because I couldn't find any because I never keep my needles in the right place. <laughs> but anyways. Womp, 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 womp. So that's that. It will go to SSK. Um, it's got to go in a bag with about a bajillion other things. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have some spinning this week. Laura yeah. has no FOs, so we're going to go straight into spinning. Um, I have some secret spinning that I'm doing that will also be an SSK raffle item, but the spinning is of the fiber that's going in the goodie bag, so I don't want to spoil anything. So that will, um, will go for SSK. That's been spun. It just needs to be plied. But the thing I am spinning for Tour de Fleece, and I sort of like waffled, um, do I want to do Tour de Fleece or not? I'm going to try. Um, do with you have travel, a No, just okay. to spend for a couple minutes every day, That's hopefully. That's a good plan. Um, because at least two to four of those days, I'll be in the car for 16 hours at least. Yeah. So, it would, you know, I'll take my little Turkish with me as well, and mm -hmm. we'll see. I'm, I'm just going to try to spend a tiny bit every day. That's a good plan. Um, so, I'm spending right now Gail's Art. Um, which is galesart.com and she does 
fantastic natural fiber and fiber mm-hmm. blends. I mean, she does dyed fiber as well. She does gorgeous dyed fiber. She's got a new colorway that's really pretty. Some of my favorite things from her are like the natural blended with silk. Oh, so beautiful. But anyway, this is 100% merino and it's pinstriped, so it's blended. Natural colors are blended with dye colors. And this is what it looks like in the braid. It's very pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Actually, the way she sends it, it's in a skein, but I split it, so I braided the, the half I wasn't spinning. But it's super pretty. And I think this is what Ooh Fancy Pants is spinning for her sweater spin. I think this is what she got last year at SSK, but I'm not oh. sure. It was something from Gail's Art. So this is two ounces of it. And I spun this on my mini spinner on an Cute. Acreworks bobbin. Yes, dear. I am recording. Do you need something? I saw you recording on Okay. Laura was out of town. Do you need something? <laughs> I'll find you when I'm done, okay? okay. Um, so this is two ounces. I love how you can see through this side so the acre works. I do too. And you can see it a little better on the side. It's a little fuller. But I'm very happy with it. It spun up really well. It drafted like butter. It was just beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm hoping to spin the other two ounces of that tonight. And then ply the secret spinning tonight as well. Cool. Um, I don't really have any other immediate goals for Tour de Fleece just to spin a little bit. I did actually spin a quarter ounce of punies on my Turkish Mm -hmm. and then another quarter ounce of punies on my Turkish and tried to ply them and it turned into a hot mess. Did you try to ply them on your Turkish? Yes. Oh. Okay. It did not end well. Um, In fact, I had to call it a wash and just throw the fiber away. It just didn't... There was nothing wrong with the fiber. I just... It didn't end well <laughs> for me. I need more practice. I'm going to spend some time with Malia while I'm at SSK. Um, but yeah, aside from that, that's uh, pretty much all the spinning I've been doing. I've, I've done a lot of SSK prep this week, which we'll talk about later. So, But you have spinning. I do have a wee bit of spinning. So I took my mini spinner with me to um, Michigan. And while I was there, I spun two bobbins of... Oh, you can't see through that one. <laughs> so there's a side view of um, Hello Yarn, Whales and Ships and Icebergs, which was a club colorway a while back. I'm um, thinking like fall of 2012, maybe 2013, probably 2013. And it is an American wool, which she won't be able to find any. It was just for the club, basically. Um, so it's like a Coradale, I would say, more than anything else, but it's a blend of different cheap breeds, and it's really nice. It's, um, not a fine wool, but it's really, really nice to spin, and my nieces helped me spin, and my cousin, who's 18, who just graduated high school, I taught him how to spin at the, um, very, you can see where it's a little bit thicker at the beginning of that one. He learned how to spin, so it was loads and loads of fun. These will get plied um, probably tomorrow because I just finished spinning this one today, and I want to let my singles rest of it. All right, so let's bring this up. <laughs> uh oh. Um, so the new Acre Works bobbins, you twist them and they click and, and they, they lock. lock in place, yeah. And this one keeps this one and two other ones keeps popping off. So the awesome Acreworks dude, um, Aiden, Aiden, I sent him an email and I was like, this keeps happening. <laughs> and he's sending me three new bobbins. Wow. So, um, so that's if you have service. like this awesome customer service and they fix the problem, um, with the new bobbins, like you twist yeah. them and they lock, like on this one. I'm not going to do it, but on this one, um, you twist it and it locks into place and you can't... Why, why don't you want to take that end off, Laura? Well, I mean... Of that incredibly you... full bobbin. See, like, if I pull on it, I push on it, it's not yeah. coming off. So, um, the newer ones from, like, February on, he said, have this system where they're not going to mm-hmm. pop off. But that one's from, like, November, so... Um, <laughs> I love that it did that on air. Anyway, um, so this is another Acreworks bobbin, and it is filled with hobbledehoy singles. And this is 2.3 ounces of batlings. And some of this I had started prior to um, SS, 
or SSK. Prior, I Tour did start it all prior to SSK, but <laughs> <laughs> but I started prior to um, Tour de Fleece. I did like an ounce before then, and I finished a second ounce and whatever a little bit extra last night. I am thinking that I am going to apply this. I'm gonna spin this awesome natural Jacob. That's, That's grayish. Lost farm, right? That I got from um, Ross Farms at Maryland. And it's two ounces. And I'm going to spin this as singles and then apply the two together. That way it'll be super colorful against a gray. So it'll be a two ply. That's the plan right now. Um, so that's what's on my bobbins currently. I have other stuff out there. I have some Southern Cross fiber on um, my, my mini spinner is actually at my parents' house because I'm watching the tour over there because they have cable and I don't. Mm -hmm. So um, I go over there and Mama Lineman and I each spin for two and a half hours every day, which is very nice. Um, so there's some um, fiber over there and then there's um, Southern Cross yarn fibers and Funhouse on my wheel here. Next up is some Hello Yarn, Black on Holiday, which is a BFL. And then some other Hello Yarn Garland, which I'm going to do a three ply. This one might be a three ply too, I haven't decided yet. So those are the next two things up on my bonds. Um, so that's it for me for Tour de Fleece. I'm also, I need to work some on the Cormo, but that's not for a team. So it's kind of then. Once I finish my spinning for the day for my teams, which is Acreworks and the two that are very specific is Acreworks, which has to kind of has to be on his bobbins, and then um, the Hello Yarn Southern Cross Funky Eclectic team. Once I finish a little bit for them, then I can spin on other stuff. So lots of stuff going on. Um, that's it for me for spinning. We do have a question, but only if yes. I can scroll down to get it. We are not doing a book review this week just because we also have some um, door prizes that we want to show and we were we would like to avoid going over an hour this time if we can. <laughs> so Nancy Grillo said, um, since you answered my yarn club question, I thought I'd press my luck and try another. Sock heels. There seem to be so many out there. I'm a traditional heel flap girl and I've perfected my own vanilla sock formula so that they fit fine. But curious about which ones you use and in which circumstances afterthought for self-striping, etc. Sorry if you've already covered this. I only started watching around eight months ago. Thanks. So, my heel selection depends on two things. What I'm doing when I'm knitting the socks and uh, how it would best suit the yarn. Um, can you hear him? I can. <laughs> Mommy! You don't love me anymore. You left me for the entire month of June. Um. So. <laughs> such a um, If I am knitting with self striping yarn, Afterthought Heels allows me to make sure my stripes don't get interrupted so I won't have a little blip of one color. Um. But. If I'm the only, the other time I use Afterthought heel socks is if I am out and about, like I'm doing something that it is not advantageous at that time for me to be turning a heel. I should preface this by saying 90% of my sock knitting now is toe up, so that there's only like four or five heels that really work well with toe up socks. Um, Wendy Johnson has two. She's got toe up socks with a gusset, which is what this is. Um, the fifth, uh, she's also got one with slip stitches that works really, really nice. Um, the fish lips kiss heel works great for toe up socks. Tomato, the sweet tomato heel by Cat Bordy works great for toe up socks. And, um, you could just do the afterthought heel, of course, and there's tons of modifications on that, but you could also do um, a short row heel. So all those are options for toe-up socks. I know the Wendy Johnson one best, and if it's more of a thicker stripe like this, I like the fit of the gusset heel, 
Um, but if it's a short striping sequence, I really like um, the afterthought heel because it doesn't interrupt my stripes. But also because I can just put in waist yarn at a certain part and I don't have to think about turning a heel at that moment. If that makes any sense at all. But I know you like fish kips, kiss, fish lips kiss heel. <laughs> I, I do. I tend to um, I tend to knit a lot more top down socks versus toe up, um, and that's primarily because I really do not mind kitchenering at all, and I am not a huge fan of increasing for the toe um, of a sock. And that's pretty like if I could just start past the increases. I would do toe up, and, and I know you can, and then you come back and you do the decreases. If you can you want. do short row heels or toes too. But for me, it's just easier. I do a lot of top down. Um, if they're for me, I usually do. I have become a very proud supporter of the Fish Lips Kiss heel because it requires no math for me. It's if you can split stitches into thirds, that's all the math you need. Um, and I've got the the heel memorized so it's easy for me and that's basically um, a modification of a short row heel right it's just using a different technique to do the turning and stuff mm -hmm. but yeah and it's it's a dollar on Ravelry oh, so yeah. it's totally worth the money um, if I'm doing I also like heel flaps I don't mind doing I, I used to hate the gusset I have decided that I prefer decreases to increases so if it's just doing the gusset and taking a big number of stitches down to a small one, I would much prefer that. I find it easier to read my decreases than I do my increases. Interesting. Um, but also, I'm not. I've only been knitting socks for what, five years, maybe, um, and I don't knit them regularly. Like I might knit seven or eight pairs a year, maybe. Um, so I'm not the aficionado of socks you know I definitely try out a bunch and see what you like but for yeah me, I think depending on how your foot shaped different heels true. are gonna fit you differently yeah, and how high your instep is yeah. how wide your foot is um, for me I, I like to not need to carry around a pattern if I can avoid it so fish lips kiss I don't need a pattern and for the um, heel flap top down heel flap I don't need a pattern so for me that's just the easiest for of what I've found. I know Jasmine and Gigi prefer the ripcord method. I've never done that. It's an afterthought heel. Is it? Um well I thought it was an afterthought leg. That's the Houdini sock pattern by Cat Forty. I think oh. they've been doing more afterthought heels because they talk about going back and doing the heels. Yeah, I know they have been doing those, but I remember there was something about a ripcord. I'll have to go back and look. Um, yeah. Because that was a technique that I wanted to try to see um, how I felt about it. But, yeah, I mean, try out as many as you can. Yeah. If you have found something that works for you, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, <laughs> honestly. There's a ton. Do what makes um, you happy. Nancy Bush has some great, um, I think it's vintage socks that has a ton of different heels. Cat Forty's books are awesome for different heel constructions. Um to think yeah, cat boardies are not the type that you can not need the pattern. Yeah, you, you need the pattern. <laughs> you do need a pattern. But she that. she does have a very like sprawling mind. Like I don't know how she comes up with some of the stuff she does, but it works. Like yeah. she's brilliant. I want to try sweet tomato again because I did it with uh, sport weight yarn before, and it did it came out a little bit too big for me. So I want to try it again with uh, fingering weight because. With heels, um, row gauge, like the height of your stitches, mm -hmm. plays a big part in fit as well. That's true. Anyway, I think that's about it. If anyone has any other questions about that, we'll be happy to answer them. Going into favorite things. Yep. Um, Stash Dash is still going on, even though Leslie has declared it conquered on her end. I'm I have still not... trying for 10K. Okay. I have not conquered it at all on my end. Um, I don't so. know. you got to count all the spinning that you're doing. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll look and see. Because I've been tracking everything in Ravelry. Because mm -hmm. um, on Ravelry, 
you can upload a picture to your stash or your projects from your iPhone. It's really easy to do. And yeah, then you a... can um, use that picture in your forum posting. And that's a Ravelry feature that costs $5 a no, year. No, it's free if you do. If you do <laughs> it through, yeah, because I haven't paid. It's so free if, if you do what? If you do it through your projects or your stash, it's free. Oh, yes. I'm talking if about directly wanna, into the forum post. Yeah, if you want to do it directly from your iPhone into the forum post, then it's $5. Yeah. But see, which, I'm, I'm getting around that by doing this. Uh, because see, I, I would pay a monthly fee for Ravelry happily. So. Yeah. I would too, but this just works well. And this way I can track everything in my mm -hmm. stash and my projects. Yep. And that makes me do that. So I've been actually putting photos with projects and stash lately. Awesome. So that's good. Um, it's good for Harry Potter House Cup too. It helps me remember mm -hmm. how many yards that spinning was and stuff. Um, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, stash dash. <laughs> uh, um, so stash dash is still going on. It will go on till August. So we have just a few weeks to go. Hopefully I'll make it. We'll see. I haven't counted on purpose yet, so we'll see. I know I have <laughs> three pairs of socks done, so that'll be helpful. Yeah. Um, but I haven't been finishing all the things like Leslie has, so. Um, Tour de Fleece is going on, which is super fun. I am enjoying watching the Tour de France and spinning along. And we are on team, I told you two of the teams that I'm on, but I'm also on the Harry Potter House Cup team and team, actually I'm on two other teams. Team Mulpergy and Team Sasquatch. You are just, you are just filthy with teams. I you am. I, well, it's one of those things where um, I found the Hello Yarn team like super inspiring. I found all the teams super inspiring, so I join them all, <laughs> and then I can see all the cool things. We do have a giveaway for Three Waters Farm. We do, and it is it is Tour de Fruit. Which is super cute. That is the cute. colorway name. And it's super happy and bright. Um, super is the drinking word for the week, if you're playing. <laughs> um, so it's very fruity. It makes me think of fruity pebbles. Yep. And uh, we have 172 people okay. who posted. Let me pull up my random generator. And I love the people who put the um, pictures in the forums. So pretty. It's just, it's dangerous, though. It is. Because you browse through a, to see what well, people... Well, she's doing a code, too. So it's super yes. dangerous. Okay, so you said it was 272? Or 172? 172. Okay, that's what I put in, but then I said the opposite. So it's between 2 and 172. Generate, it says the result is 144, which should be on the sixth page. Sixth page. That is GMA Lisa Nitz. So GMA Lisa Nitz, contact Leslie. And she said the bits of color on merino silk is really beautiful, but all her fiber is beautiful. So if you will contact Leslie, you don't call me mm -hmm. Les on Ravelry with a PM, she will send that out to you. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, uh -huh. I've had several people PM me or call me out on the forums asking if something has changed because my ring has changed oh <laughs> so i saw that earlier and i thought i'll address it now so i switched from my solitaire to a wedding band no i have not gotten married i just decided that i was sick of wearing the solitaire even though it was beautiful and i just wanted something like easier and so i bought this very inexpensive cubic zirconia ring on etsy for myself because i'm classy that way <laughs> and um, that's what I've been wearing and it's easier and so no I have not gotten married <laughs> one day eventually I think at no. this point y'all are common law there is no common law in New Jersey oh no nope. but if there were yes we would be because <laughs> April will be 10 years Wow so. mm -hmm. that's a long time anyway <laughs> um, on comments that are not my personal life, which people are welcome to ask. I'm not like shy about it, but anyway, expand your horizons. For, expand we don't your have horizons one for July. Was June. There isn't one for July, but there is one for August. I should look up and see what that is because I totally did not just. I just it's did a not type of it. fiber. I know that June was fold singles. Yep. So the intent was to spin 
um, a single and leave it as a single and full it, which means to shock it essentially between hot and cold water so that it would stabilize in its single form. Oh, this is cool. August is still kinkies. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we have some from um, Friends and Fiber, I think, to, um, to play with. So that'll be awesome. Cool. I love silk hankies. Silk hankies is, um, it's basically a cocoon that's been stretched. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can just knit with them, too. So we can make this a knitting slash spinning Expand Your yeah. Horizons. And if, if you are a dyer that carries them, that carries silk hankies, you should post about it in our Shut Up and Take My Money thread. <laughs> there you go. I have a giveaway, which is super cool. Martha of Tuft Woolen Soaps sent us a pack of her very cool soap. These are, I think, all sock soaps. Let me see if I can see. Yeah, they're all sock soaps. Um, and they are all different scents. So there's Vanilla Almond, Mossy Woods, Refresh, Royal... A pat, a pair, uh, I don't know that word. <laughs> A-P-I-A-R-Y. A a uh, and Lavender. So, now that I've butchered the names of her soaps that you can see. So are we going to pick five winners? and, and No, they're a bundle each? that come together. Okay, alright. So because uh, these are the sock soaps, and she's got this cool little thing. And I've used these myself. I really like them as an alternative to the soak. Um, you do have to rinse your woolens, so they're perfect for socks. Because what you do is, um, under cool water, you kind of lather them up. And you can actually rub them on your soap, on your socks. Or you can just um, put them in the, have that suds go in the water and then you rinse them when you're done and they smell awesome so this is a pack and she sent me um the new ssk fragrance which is ginger orange i believe and it's yummy as i'll get out but um and she's doing lotion bars for ssk too all my money shall go to carrie's booth so um we this is tuftwoolens.etsy.com and you can check out her stuff there. Go ahead and pick out your favorite scent and tell us about it in um, the contest thread. And one winner will get this pack of very cool natural homemade handmade soap. Perfect for woolen goodies. So thank you, Martha. Super sweet. And I've been using her stuff for around six months now, and I really, really enjoy it. It always smells good, and it lasts for forever. In fact, I have a couple bars tucked into, um, like, where I store my woolens to make them smell good. So, awesomeness. Cool. And now for those we, going to SSK, she'll be there, right? Yeah, she'll Carrie's be at SSK. Booth. I get to meet her. She's mm -hmm. one of uh, Becca's friends and Carrie's friends, too. So it'll be Carrie of Jelby, Becca of Volpergi, and Martha of Tuft Woolens all in one booth. So that'll be yep. tons of fun. Um, so the rest of the episode is pretty SSK related. Before we get into the door prizes that came this week, I did want to address that um, next week's episode will be different. I'm not quite sure how yet, because um, I leave Saturday to drive down. My son is coming with me, uh, not to SSK, because that would be a disaster. <laughs> but um, <laughs> he is coming, and I'm driving down to Memphis, and he'll stay there for a few weeks, and then he'll michael will fly down and they'll fly back together next month but so i'll actually probably be with laura when we record next time yay but we, we won't do any of the fancy editing or anything and it might be crazy and terrible but it'll be us together so <laughs> there you go um so it should be on time i think some in that region <laughs> so door prizes do you want to go first sure I have a bunch of stuff from Dawning Dreams, and Dawn is super sweet, and then she also gave us something to go in each and every one of the goodie bags. Oh, sweet. So that's very cool. She sent her acorn felting kit, so it comes with felting needles, the, um, the roving to make the little acorns, a pattern, and the actual... The board. Yeah, that you felt on, so that's very cool. That's one of the things in there. She sent one of her spindles. Oh, it's nice. Gorgeous. It's like clockwork looking. Yep. She also sent 
some of her very cool fiber. So there's that lovely bit of Superwash Merino. Love the fall colors. And then two bats. Nice. So they're each around three ounces, I think. So. Sweet. It's not... Showing it through the plastic is not doing it justice yeah. at all. So thank you, Dawn, so much for sending all those goodies our way. Plus a little something something for the goodie bags. So very, very cool. That okay. spindle is just gorgeous. I want it. <laughs> you have enough spindles. I do. So we got I got some really nice things in the mail this week as well. Um I do know there's a couple that are still coming. I'll try to keep them separate so we can show them next week. Yeah. Um, I know um, Webb's sent one package and it disappeared in the mail. So <gasps> they are sending a new one because they're super sweet. That is sweet. I can't um, believe it disappeared. I know. As well as Lindy from the first draft is sending something. And there's one more person that's sending something that I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but first we have Lone Star Arts, and this is in the perched colorway, and it's 100% merino. Oh, pretty. Really great colors. I, I love, love blue, gray. green, and gray. Yeah, I like the gray with the yellow. I think it's really nice. And that's uh, LoneStarArts.etsy.com. That's where you can find her stuff. So she sent that. Um, let's see, what else do I have here in my big bag of tricks? Steph from Lou. Oh, I love Steph. Yes. She says so she hopes we have a wonderful retreat. And she sent along a colorway, a 5.1 ounce water ballet. And this wow. is Marino, Nylon, and Angelina. So this looks like one of her shorter color repeats. Yep. That's pretty. So you'll get through each color a little faster. It'll stripe a little more quickly. And it's a center pull bump. And that is loopfiberstudio.com. Steph is so generous and sweet. Yes. And Steph is a very nice person in general. If you ever get a chance um, to see her at a festival, definitely do so. She's super duper smart, too. Oh, yes. Um, our friend Jody from Fishnets. Fishnet. Yeah. Um, who has supported us for a while. Oh, um, yes. She sent six skeins for you. And then one for Laura and one for me. Oh, I was like, six skeins no. for me? <laughs> um, take ten with the girl. So it's a special colorway. Um, and it's 80% super wash, 20% nylon, self-striping, ten colors. Wow. Of self-striping. How fun. So we have six skeins of this to give away. Um, I have knit two pairs of socks with this base, and I really, really like it. Um, it they've held up, the socks have held up really well. Cool. So, um, and I have, I bought two skeins from her this past week. So She does really pretty stuff. Yeah, she really does. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? I have a bag from Third Leg Bags, and I want to show you guys oh, how I cute. Oh, I love her stuff. It's all wrapped in this nice paper before I have to destroy it to actually Aww. show it to you. <laughs> but I, her packaging is really nice. She's got great bags, too. She puts a lot look of uh, this care sucker. with them. <gasps> oh, I want that. Look at the retro cats. Oh, now I have to go to her shop and find it. Yeah, I love it. And it's oh, huge. It's awesome. enormous. Um, and you can see here, bird like bags. Humberto wants it too. Yeah, he does. He's like, I can hear the kitty. And she's got a nice ceramic zipper pull. Uh huh. I have one of her hedgehog bags and it's got a hedgehog zipper pull and it's awesome. This one is huge. It does have a flat bottom. I just don't know. Nice. That's like a sweater bag. Press it. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. This could hold a sweater for me, which means it's big. So we want to thank her very much. And that will be a giveaway item, a door prize. And we have some prizes. From our friend Erin of um, Bling Your String. Yeah. I just went blank. Uh, you have my sock club bag, too. My sock bag, too. My I club do. bag. And she's doing another round of bags. She's going to announce that. The, yeah. um, different themes soon. 
So this will not be a door prize. This will be later um, for in the show. But I, I just wanted to show this is her sidekick bag. And it's got a little notions pouch that goes with it. How cute. So that's super cute. So that's going to be a, an after SSK prize. Wow. Um, for the general public. But her SSK prize is just so darn cute. She's so generous. She really is. Oh, that's not it. So, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm updating show notes because my thing touched the keyboard. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is my bag kit. And I just wanted to show, this is not door prizes and it's in the wrong spot. And I'm sorry, but I just remembered. She writes very sweet notes for each person. And, and you are in which club? You are in the art club? I'm in the art club, yes. So this is representative of the water lilies. Oh, pretty. With the batik floral design. Yeah. And she customizes the stitch markers to go with your bag. But my favorite part is that, like, she does a little investigating to, to get to know each person. And you can tell that because the little extra is a stitch marker that is a little piggy. Oh, and pigs are my favorite animal. I love it. And she also includes this clever little contraption that I've never seen them before. But it's a stitch marker and it's a locking stitch marker. But it also has this little clip where you can include a note. So you can clip it to your knitting. And then that you is can, super smart. Yeah, and you can include a little note of I was on row seven of the fifth repeat or whatever. Smart. Yes. She's very clever. Um, so I'm going to put this back in here so I don't lose it. Because I totally will lose it. So anyway, that was my bag club. That's not a door prize. I'm sorry, that's in the wrong place. This one's Laura's. So you've got your coffee ladies. Uh-huh, my tea ladies. Cool. Your tea ladies, yeah. I, lo I really cool. like these. The ladies in the print. I think that's clever. Um, yeah, there we go. That might be a better shot. Awesome. So you've got some teas and some extras. I didn't go through all your stuff. Cool. But that will go in the bag. Might be but this some is the SSK okay. door prize. It's a collection of her bags. It's a huge kit worth of her bags. Oh, wow. And it's the note says, Congratulations, you've won. And it talks about each one of the bags in there. Um, you also get one of those little clever clips How that I was cool. just talking about. And. Um, the bags have a hammered tag on them that say SSK 2014. Neat. Yeah, I just, I, I don't want to open it because it's so pretty. But anyway, so Erin of Bling Your String um, nice. is very generous and we definitely appreciate her. How neat. Also, Annie Leibniz. Oh, wow, that's a. She sent us a bag. A bag I've seen before. It, you think? Um, and I actually haven't seen her bags in person before. This is she's the first got nice one. bags. Yeah, she does. She does um, hand-drawn, hand-designed fabric, which is very yeah. unusual. And these little rings. She's got her tag, Little Skin and the Big Wool. I haven't seen the tags. Cool. And so I like the little knitted birdhouses. I think that's cute. They're tree it's houses. Got... Yeah. Not to correct to you, inside. but that was my kit. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She also included two fifty dollar or I'm sorry, fifty and a twenty five dollar nice gift card to her shop and there's codes on the back. So those will be um, door prizes as well. Very nice. Yeah, so that's that's awesome. Super and very generous. kind. So we thank her. I'm gonna put that oh yeah, this is in the Annabelle's Annabelle's Treehouse kit. So all your prizes have been touched by me and hopefully not ruined by me. Sorry. <laughs> and two more for today. Um, one is from Sun Valley Fibers, Jeanette. Oh, I love Jeanette. She also included a little something that will go in each one of the bags, which is very clever and funny. Um, but she included two skeins of yarn. This is spooky. And That's a Steelers colorway almost. 75% merino, 15% cashmere, and 10% silk. Wow. So it's a really durable, nice yarn. And this one is in her 801010 merino cashmere nylon. This is celestial. Pretty. These She's always got gorgeous whites. stuff. I need yeah. to spin up the fiber I bought from her at Stitches a couple years ago. 
I don't think I've got any of her fiber. Gorgeous. I didn't even know she did fiber. Yep. Um, and the last is from Cloud Lover, Natalie Quist. Natalie's so sweet. Um, she sent blueberry picking, which is 40% merino, 40% superwash merino, and 20% silk. Not a, there we go. It's a little bit better approximation. Cool. Very and pretty. two skeins of yarn. She does a Downton Abbey series. Actually, my favorite series by her is she does um, The Raven. She does an Edgar Allan Poe series around Halloween. Oh, yes, she did. I remember Halloween. You, you had to restrain yourself when she had those. Oh, so pretty. This is Sangria, which is 75 Merino, 25% nylon. So it's a blend of reds and purples. And this is Lady Sybil. So this is a Downton Abbey in the Merino Silk 50-50. Um, it's a really pale, sort of watery color. She also does a Nightmare Before Christmas series that's awesome. Yeah. So those are this week's prizes. Um, I know that we'll have at least a couple more for next week. Cool. And um, we will try, we'll do our very best to show them on the show. Uh, I have some SSK prep left, but I've done as much of it as I'm able to. And... Let's see. What else do we have to say about SSK? Because it's in a week I'm and a half. I'm so excited. Oh, it's in a week and a half. I'm going to be setting up um, breakout sessions tomorrow. And so also um, going to pick up my couch tomorrow. <laughs> and, um, because I need somewhere to sleep. <laughs> you do. Um, although, I ordered a mattress for the guest bedroom, too. Um, so... Yeah, that's about it. Like breakout sessions. What else do I have to do? I don't know. Uh, do tags Roommates for the trial are assigned. Um, class rosters are up. Yeah. We sent out an email with all the pertinent information. Um, don't overpack. Bring lots <laughs> of money for the market. Uh, I think that's it. Now yeah. we're just rambling, so we'll cut it short. And we next time we record, we'll be together. Yay! Yay! And then after that, I'm lucky to be in my house for the first time ever. I've been in your house before. Not one. since I painted it and did <laughs> stuff. You came for like the inspection. That doesn't count. I was there. I've seen it. <laughs> anyway, my you stuff's guys, in it now. <laughs> I know. I get to come and make fun of all your stash and totally give you crap about how much you have. Well, that's okay. Person who's got <laughs> that much behind them. <laughs> Okay, y'all have a great week, and we'll see you again next Sunday. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.